Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Hano Media and thanks for choosing this video. If you are new here, my name is Chris, aka the IT guy, and today you're going to talk about how to install and configure the VNC server and the VNC viewer on Windows 10. If you don't know what VNC is, VNC is the solution for those who want to make the remote or want to remote their computers from home or from the office. For example, I may be traveling and I want to check what's going on on my computer or that is seated at my office or at my home. And and I can use the VNC viewer to see what is going on on my computer. But to do that, you need to, of course, to install the VNC server and configure it so as to have all those functionalities. Without further ado, let's go ahead and see how we can do this one. First of all, we have to go on the website and download the VNC server and you have to open your favorite uh, browser in this case i'm using chrome and go in the search bar and type of vnc server like this one and place enter the first link that will come will be from realvnc.com and we are going to go ahead and click the first link that you will see and make sure to check if it is from realvnc.com and place on the first link like i said and when you take a closer look you can see that there will be uh, a platform or the environment that vnc can work on it can work on windows it can work on mac os it can work on uh, linux uh, raspberry pi solaris hp ux and iex all right and when you take a closer look to this download button you can see that i am going to install the version of 6.8.0 which is now the current version for the time of this recording and uh, the versions may vary so don't get it suited when you you see that you have the version that is different from mine there is no problem about that one and when you go up here on the navigation bar and you try to go on the download button and you click on here you can see that there will be also the option to download the vnc viewer so as to be able to remote our desktop or our laptop or whatever uh, device you will install the vnc server on all right and in this case i'm using windows and I'm going to choose the windows. It is now the pre-selected, which means that it detected my windows automatically. Go ahead and you click on the download button and wait for a bit. The setup is not heavy. It is now like 19.3 uh, megabytes. It's not that heavy. So we have to wait for this one. And as it is now downloading, uh, you can go ahead and press the subscribe button if you are not subscribed yet. And give like to this video and I promise you, you, you will never Regret that one all right now the setup is ready and you ha have to go ahead and click on it and you have to minimize my window like this one so as to have a clean workspace go ahead and place on ok to start this setup and wait for a couple of milliseconds and the installer will start and it will start like this one go ahead and place next and it will ask you to read the license agreement if you have time you can go through them and read what is about but in this case we're going to accept uh, so as to activate this next button i'm going to go ahead and accept and we have to press next and i have to leave this as default but you can uh, take a closer look and you can see that the installer location will be from c program files your vnc and vnc server and it will be in here go and place next and in this case when it asks you to add an exception to the firewall you have to pay attention because this is now the first thing that you have to take in consideration because we will need to allow the traffic from outside to be passed through the firewall if you don't ac accept or add an exception to the firewall there will be no remote at all because the firewall will block all the connections that will come accessing for this vnc server right go ahead and place on the next and install and we have to wait for a couple of seconds for this to be done it doesn't take long all right now this is now finished and once it's open like this one you have to go ahead you can see that it is now on and i have set my uh password and my username by using the email and i'm going to go on my uh on my phone or my mobile and i will try to install the vnc server too and i will see what is going on on the computer too so, so as to see how now the remote is done so let me jump to there all right and you now i'm on my mobile phone i'm going to try to access in my server that i pre I recreated i can go in the play store and let me go in the play store and search for the vnc viewer to install it it's here now 
you can go ahead and try to access it um, so I'm going to go ahead and place on install and wait for a couple of uh, seconds for this instruction to be done and let's wait for a bit um, go ahead and open the setup after now it is done and uh, I can go ahead can uh, show you all of this one you can go ahead and scroll like this one and click on get started and it will look like this one and as you can see there is no computer which means I have to log in so as to be able to access my PC so I'm going to go ahead and click on sign in and I'm going to put my email here now uh, for example it is now Hano let me put my email and and put my password to and press on continue All right, I'll write the bad password let me go ahead and write my password again and press on continue All right and you can go and you can see it is now syncing so as to to see all the computers that can be available and when you take a closer look there will be two pc there will be this one that i call the home pc and there will be the home desktop i can use my home pc like this one to try to connect it to it and to try to generate a secure key so it has so to open the session and you have to wait for a couple of seconds so, so as to be uh, done Let's wait for a bit. It is trying to connect and it's sending the connection request. And I have to press on continue. And I will put my password that I set. Uh, let me put like this one and press continue. And it will bring the desktop like this one. Go ahead and uh, uh, if you are using this for the first time, you will be prompted to see the tips on how you can use this one. But when you try to take a closer look, you can see that I am in my desktop when I try to minimize this one like this you can see that I have the same interface that I was having on the desktop and I am having it on my mobile phone so I can go ahead and also choose uh, this you can see this is where we, we were and you can zoom out to see all this one you can go ahead and minimize you can uh, choose other options on here for example if you want to the keyboard to come if you want other controllers like windows if we want to use the windows button you can go ahead and choose from that and if you want to use the mouse and other settings you can see there will be a lot of things on here so you can control your computer too wherever you are uh, by using this uh, method and i'm going to go ahead also and try to zoom and you can see that the functionalities will work the same and you can also still remote your computer to wherever you are i hope you guys you find this very very useful and interesting and not only you can use your your phone you can use another computer to remote your computer or a tablet or any other device that you can uh, be able to install the vnc viewer in so i hope guys you find this video very helpful and interesting as i was saying and if you are going to leave don't leave without pressing the like button if you are coming on this channel for the first time uh, remember to subscribe and turn on the bell icon to get a notification when i upload a video and peace